Nowadays in hell, we often see hospitals and medical machines that stab or cut up human bodies. I encountered this year too people who believe that they are still alive even after their death. They only have a vague sensation of being isolated in the hospital, waiting for their treatment. And then evil spirits don't take the form of demons like in ancient history. They are like doctors who practice again and again operations to cut the bodies of their patients. Some of them feel to be isolated from other patients. Since they believe that they are receiving medical treatment there to be cured, and they see around them something that looks like a hospital or jail, like this, many people do not understand that they are now in hell. Many people die in hospitals nowadays. I suggest to all of those who listen to my lecture to see carefully if they are still alive in the hospital or if they have already died and are in the world after death. Please know it can happen to you. The appearance of heaven and hell has changed into a modern form, so that's why you may not recognize them. Knowing this is crucial. Knowing that perhaps you are now in hell is the starting point. And then you should think about how to escape from the place. To know how to escape from hell, you should read this book to have more knowledge. Otherwise, you will never be able to escape. In my childhood, I heard about heaven and hell and believed that hell is the destination for criminals only. I thought if I commit a criminal act, I will be condemned to hell. When I was a child, in my mind, I thought that if criminals who cannot amend their way of life in jail will continue in extension to live suffering in hell, but I understand that the reality is different. The sum total of our way of life, deeds, and state of mind will be evaluated to decide if we return to heaven or hell. It is difficult to know by what the decision is made, but you can imagine that each soul has a kind of specific gravity. It's like if you are lighter than water, you will float, but if you are heavier, you will sink. In the same way, when your soul is separated from the body, the soul contains within it some materialistic weight, chains or fetters. Which would create trouble for you to return to heaven. And you have no choice but to sink to hell. It's quite a difficult problem, and we cannot save everyone easily. We need to also mention that religions have lost their capability to save people. Christianity conveys their religion saying that you will be saved only by believing in Jesus and becoming a member of the church. But salvation is not such an easy thing. To state it simply, as I said in the beginning, it is not to do to others what you don't want others to do to you. Those who did many things to others that they did not want others to do to them go to hell in most cases. When people do things only to get benefits for themselves in an egotistical way, thereby causing harm to others, they are then criminal in religious terms and will need to reflect on themselves in hell. By practicing self-reflection and prayer, you must be capable of keeping a peaceful mind and become a person who prays for others' happiness. This is very essential. It is not enough to practice only at home. Such an amateur-like practice cannot expel evil spirits from your home where they are already familiarized with it. So you should go to temples or shojas. 
Many people are lazy and don't want to go to temples. The journey can take more than one hour, so they think it is enough to read a book at home. But this reasoning reveals their amateurish thoughtlessness. When you go to a temple where priests practice their spiritual discipline to be able to receive spiritual energy from Alcantara, you can attend a Qigong ceremony, listen to lectures, study the truth, and be together with Dharma friends, as your light will become stronger. Also, evil spirits will be afraid that you attend a temple every week or every month because they will be forced to watch Ruho Kawa's lectures on video. They really hate to listen to my lectures, so they will end up leaving you. So please don't be lazy by staying at home, but regularly attend local temples and shojas and make it your habit. It is quite important to bask in the light because it will purify you. So go to such places repeatedly 